Starting your day with Psalm 121 is like wearing a warm, protective jacket. It reminds us that God is always there, looking out for us, no matter what the day might throw our way. So, no matter what you're facing today, God is reminding you, your help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. We're also going to pray a powerful prayer with you, calling on God for divine protection and to bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your heart to receive the blessings of this prayer. Each morning, when the world awakens to the fresh light of a new day, we're given a brand new start, similar to how the ocean waves wipe away yesterday's footprints on the sand. It's clear that the dawn doesn't just symbolize a new day, it embodies the promise of a fresh alignment with God. Now, at the core of our daily renewal is Psalm 121. This special and comforting psalm reminds us that even when the world feels heavy and challenges seem too big, our God is always looking out for us, ensuring we're safe and protected. It's like God is saying to us, You're not alone. I'm right here with you. Now listen to this. Psalm 121 is often referred to as the Traveler's Psalm. But why? Why this particular psalm? Well, this is because this psalm is a powerful prayer to start your day's journey. It is a reminder that no matter where we go or what challenges we face, God is always with us, watching over our every step, just as a traveler might face unexpected twists and turns on a journey. We too encounter unknowns in our daily lives. Let's explore this powerful and impactful psalm verse by verse, which provides a comforting assurance that even in the midst of life's uncertainties, we're never truly alone. This psalm offers us hope, strength, and a guiding light, reminding us of God's unwavering presence and care. In verse 1, the scripture reads, I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. Picture yourself in front of a towering mountain or staring up into the limitless sky. It's a humbling moment, isn't it? This verse mirrors that feeling. By directing our gaze to the hills, it's like turning our thoughts to something much larger than our daily concerns. God, then this verse has a probing question. Where does my help come from? This resonates with times when we're uncertain or fearful, pondering where to turn for support. The beautiful answer is echoed in verse 2, but it is also nicely captured in Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. So, when problems come and we feel alone, this verse reminds us that God is always there to help us. He's not just an observer. He's our ever-present help. So I ask you today, where does your help come from? Does it come from your job, your salary, or income? Does it come from your friends or loved ones? Where does it come from? Let's explore the best answer to these questions in verse 2. Verse 2 says, My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. It's human nature to be proud of our creations, be it something as simple as a meal or as complex as a painting. We craft our days, scheduling every hour with activities and goals. But this verse beckons us to pause and consider something greater in all creation, the heavens and the earth. The magnificence of the sparkling stars, the moon, the sun, and the beauty of our world, with its varied landscapes, environments, and life, all these were fashioned by the Lord. This is the great God that we serve, the God of all creation. In the book of Exodus, chapters 35 to 50, we remember the story of the Israelites. During their construction of the tabernacle in the desert, every worker was filled with the Spirit of God to design and create. Consider that their abilities were not solely their own, they were gifts from the divine creator. Similarly, 
Our skills, intelligence, and even our capacity to plan are gifts from God. This realization is both humbling and empowering. If our daily plans seem great, how much greater is the one who created the universe? By acknowledging that our true help comes from the creator of heaven and earth, we place our trust not in our limited abilities, but in the boundless power and wisdom of God. This verse, in its simplicity, reminds us that no matter how big our hills are, our helper is infinitely greater. Our God is bigger than our problems. Now, let's look at verse 3. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Each day we wake up. We step into a world full of surprises and uncertainties. Some days can feel like walking on a tightrope with challenges ready to throw us off balance. But here, in this verse, there's a powerful promise. God will not let our foot slip or be moved. It's like having the world's best balance keeper by our side. Consider the story of Peter walking on water in Matthew 14 verses 22 to 33. As long as his eyes were fixed on Jesus, he could do the impossible. But the moment he focused on the raging storm, he began to sink. Yet, even in that instant of faltering, Jesus reached out immediately, ensuring Peter did not drown. God's protective hand is just like that, ensuring that even if we wobble, we won't fall. The latter part of the verse paints a comforting image. God never takes a break from looking after us. Unlike us who need rest and sleep, God's vigilance is constant. Imagine a guardian who never blinks, never tires, and never sleeps. That's our God, always active, ensuring our safety. Verse 4 says, Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. This verse serves as a beautiful echo to the previous verse, but broadens the scope. While the previous verse might seem more personal, this one extends that guardianship to the entirety of God's people by making reference to Israel. The story of the Israelites' escape from Egypt in Exodus chapters 12 to 14 comes to mind as they were pursued by Pharaoh's army with the Red Sea in front of them. It looked like all was lost, but God, who never sleeps nor slumbers, made a way for them, parting the Red Sea. It wasn't just about Moses or Aaron, but the entire nation. This verse reminds us that God's attentive care isn't just for individuals, but it is expansive, covering communities, nations, and even generations. His reliability doesn't just extend to one person. It covers all his people. Verse 5 says this, The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The reality is this. Mornings bring with them the rising sun, casting light, but also heat. In life, too, we often encounter situations that might be intense or challenging. But here's the promise. God acts as a shade, offering a relief a place of comfort amidst the heat of life's challenges. The story of Jonah, in the book of Jonah, chapter 4, verses 5 to 8, provides a reflection on this. After delivering God's message to Nineveh, Jonah sat outside the city, and God provided a plant to give him shade. Though Jonah's experience was short, it symbolizes the constant protective shade that God offers to us. The mentioning of the right hand in this verse is also significant. In biblical times, the right hand was a symbol of power, authority, and honor. When God is our shade at our right hand, it's not just about protection. It's also about empowerment. Every task we undertake, every challenge we face, has God's hand of strength and honor, guiding and supporting us. It's a reminder that with God by our side, who or what can be against us. Now let's move on to verse 6. It tells us, The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Let's face it, every day has its highs and lows. Much like the sun's blazing heat and the mysterious darkness of the night, the sun can be harsh, 
reminding us of the clear problems we face during our daily routines. These can be big things like troubles at work, problems at home, or even our own worries and fears. On the other hand, the moon, though it brings light to the night, often symbolizes the unknown, the challenges that we don't see coming, or those that confuse us. Remember the story of the Israelites wandering in the desert? This can be found in Exodus 13, verses 21 to 22, where God guided them with a pillar of cloud during the day and a pillar of fire at night. This means he was with them during both the clear challenges of the day and the uncertainties of the night. Similarly, this verse comforts us with the promise that whether our problems are clear as day or hidden in the shadows of night, God is there, providing protection and guidance. God is so good to us. Verse 7 assures us, The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. Think about starting each day with a shield around you. Not just any shield, but one that can protect you from every bad thing that might come your way. This verse is like a promise of that shield. Every day, there are many things, seen and unseen, that can hurt us. But here we are told that God will keep us safe from all of it. The story of Job might come to mind. In the book of Job, chapter 1, verse 10, Satan pointed out that God had put a protective shield around Job, his family, and everything he had. Even in his intense trials, God's protective hand over Job's life was evident. Similarly, this verse isn't just about protecting us from physical harm or challenges. It's deeper than that. It's a promise about guarding our very being, our essence, and our life. That means, even if we face problems, deep inside, where it matters most, we are kept safe and secure by God. It's like having the best safety promise as we step into the challenges of each day. And the last verse, which is verse 8, tells us, The Lord will keep you going out, and you're coming in from this time forth and forevermore. As we know it, Life is a series of journeys. Sometimes we step out. Maybe it's for work or to face a challenge or even to embrace a new opportunity. Other times we come in, seeking rest, returning to our loved ones or reflecting on our experiences. This verse paints a picture of God's constant care, no matter which direction we're heading. It's like having a protective friend by our side every time we step out of our front door, and the same friend welcoming us back home. Remember the story of Jacob when he was fleeing from his brother Esau and heading to a foreign land? In Genesis 28, verse 15, God promised him, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. Even in unfamiliar territory, Jacob wasn't alone. God was watching over his going out and his coming in. Likewise, this verse from Psalm 121 assures us of the same thing. God's care isn't just for today or tomorrow. It's forever. So, whether we're facing a new day, heading into an unknown adventure, or coming back from a long journey, God's promise remains unbroken. He watches over every step we take from now till the end of time. This thought offers us a warm blanket of comfort, knowing that in the big story of our lives, God's protective hand is always there, looking out for us. So, as we journey through the hills and valleys of life, we are never truly alone. The verses of Psalm 121 remind us that our steps are guided, our paths are watched, and our lives are surrounded by God's steadfast love and protection. Whether you're stepping out into a new challenge or finding your way back from a long journey, take heart. God's promise of care, protection, and guidance is unbreakable. Remember, 
In the big story of our lives, God's protective hand is always there, looking out for us. As you approach today, as you step into tomorrow, and all the days after, carry with you the comforting assurance of this powerful psalm. And in moments of doubt or fear, just lift your eyes to the hills, to the heavens, and know, truly know, that your help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Be encouraged and keep trusting in God, knowing God is always with you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God, Heavenly Father and Eternal King, Creator of heaven and earth. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your greatness and faithfulness knows no bounds. And I am grateful for your grace, mercies, and love. Lord, I thank you that your mercies are new every morning, reminding me of the everlasting love that you have for me. Today and every day, I claim the promises of Psalm 121 over my life. I declare that I will walk in confidence, knowing that you guard my steps and watch over my path. Lord, I acknowledge that you are my very present help in times of trouble, and you are my keeper. I thank you, Lord, that you are my shield and buckler, watching over me day and night, protecting me in my going out and coming in and delivering me from all evil. I thank you for your divine shade as you protect me from what is seen and unseen. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every challenge I face, knowing that you, Lord, are bigger than my problems. I declare victory over all negative circumstances, breakthroughs in every challenge, and blessings in every setback. Lord, I thank you that you turn all things for good for those who love and serve you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand against every plan of the enemy to hinder me from the path you've set before me. I rebuke any spirit of fear, doubt, anxiety, or confusion that tries to take root in my heart, because you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Father, I lift up my loved ones before you, May they draw closer to you and come to experience your truth, love, and grace. Lord, I ask that you show them mercy, guide them, and protect them in their journeys. Father, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am thankful for each soul listening right now, and I pray that each person is being touched by your loving presence. I pray that for those who have burdens, every burden is being lifted right now. May those whose minds and hearts are troubled find rest and peace in you. May you comfort us through your Holy Spirit. For those who are hurting and those being attacked by sickness or the symptoms of sickness, may your healing anointing flow through their entire being. Let the power of this collective faith among us create waves of blessings, peace and positive transformations in lives near and far. Lord, I place all my concerns, dreams and desires into your capable hands. Let your will be done in my life. Thank you, Lord for hearing and answering my prayer. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus.
You can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.